Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, here with the newest one in the Lumen Top lineup. It is the Lumen Top Tiger. Now, this thing is built like a beast and just really, really functional, nice light. 55,000 lumens max, running off a couple of different LEDs. But before we get into the light, I'll show you again the pack and then we'll dive straight into it. Da -da -da -da. First of all, obviously, you receive your Lumen Top Tiger battery and everything included. Um, this whole handle here is a big battery. Comes in a nice packaging here. You get a couple generous size O-rings, which is great. And you get a large USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And we also include a USB-C wall adapter as well. It is fast charge enabled, so it can charge sort of anywhere up to sort of five amps, which is great. Um, it's also bi-directional bi too, so you can actually use this thing as a power bank. Obviously, you get your user manual here. Now, that is definitely worth a read because of the firmware that Lumentop run. They make their lights very, very customizable. So, definitely worth a read of how to set up your light. I had this one sort of in the default mode where it does that smooth ramping but you can obviously change that to sort of any function you want either to smooth ramp to a certain point or to sort of jump around as well but yeah very very easy to sort of uh, read through that get to know your light and i definitely recommend it straight onto the light and sort of its features as you can see it's got an almighty large handle here this can be removed to just with sort of a normal screwdriver through that tip there and just a really big bulky nice build i love that it's got a huge lumen top um, sort of writing there, big tiger at the back. Just everything is just built nice and tough. Charging port and sort of uh, output and everything. If you just unscrew the tail cap, you get your sort of quick charge normal USB port and you also get your USB-C port. Now that does actually have a LED display on it or type um, and then you can see exactly what output you're using, exactly what output's coming back in as well. Um, when I was using the light, obviously I didn't have that. I just had the tail cap on so I didn't really know what output I was using. But if you really did want to get to know sort of what outputs and everything um, were causing what sort of drain on your batteries, uh, that's definitely a way to do it. Overall aesthetically, absolutely loving it. Um, as you can see the front there, it is really, really cool. So. Just, as I said, some bulky jimping at the front. They've just built this thing absolutely like a tank. Lumitov just actually come out with some really great torches of uh, late. And um, yeah, this is no exception. They've just really started to sort of think about things, innovate things, and just change the way I reckon uh, the normal light is sort of perceived. So keep it up Lumitov because yeah, there's some cool stuff uh, on the way and already out as well. So the batteries it's running off here is 421700s and it's able to produce a max of 612 watts. So it's a huge amount of output. Being able to be produced, sort of your anti-reflecting glass, it's all aircraft grade aluminium as you sort of come to expect from a lot of high quality torches. Yeah, so it's gonna be nice and impact resistant. It's got an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. It's also IP68 rated, so submersible for two hours. And um, yeah, Lumitop just make their torches really tough and just for the real world, so. Yeah, you definitely know it's going to hold up to those sort of strenuous exercises. The seven of the LEDs on the outside are Cree XHP 70 Gen 2 chips. And the actual chip in the middle there, they've gone with a Cree XHP 70 Gen 3 chip. And it looks to be de-domed as well. So they're providing a little bit more throw out of that middle LED. And you actually notice it quite a lot. The Cree XHP 70.2 Gen 2 chips are typically... Uh, you see them in quite a lot of um, high output sort of single LED lights or multiple LED lights like this one, but they are very floody. That is what they're using in the MS-18 and a lot of the other big floodlights. The Cree XHP 70 Gen 3 chip, haven't seen it too much in like other lights, but it does look to be a little bit more throwy. So um, I'm excited to see when they're sort of either Big lights like this might transfer over and get a little bit more distance, a little bit more purpose beam, but that's got an orange peel reflector as well. So yeah it is a floodlight sort of through and through but in turn you do get some quite a good distance out of that led and out of the other ones as well i suppose so yeah you do definitely get some good distance out of those leds outputs and run times of those max run time for this is 40 days and that's on a moonlight setting of 6.5 lumens so very low output it's actually able to hold that quite well without any, any flickering or anything so uh, it's yeah it's built really well um, for such a large light to hold such low lumen output 
I found it was fine. Yeah, which is crazy runtime, obviously. And then you get your high mode. That's jumping up to 31,000 lumens. And then you're gonna get that for about 45 seconds a minute. And that's gonna drop down for the next eight and a half hours. So it progressively drop down. And then you get your turbo mode. You get your 58,000 lumens. 40 seconds and then it's going to drop down for like sort of the next seven hours huge amount of output out of this and as i said it had a sm i had it in that smooth ramping so i was able to ramp up to that high so i can you pretty much stop anywhere in between there uh, find that perfect light output for you obviously the uh differences in output are going to affect your sort of runtime overall and everything like that but yeah Loom top just made a really interesting looking light i love the beefed out handle it's all square so it's not necessarily like the most ergonomic candle, but I definitely like the look of it and the feel in the hands actually not too bad. I had this on quite a warm night and quite for, for quite some time and didn't find the handle getting hot at all. Uh, and it's definitely worth sort of um, keeping on there, I would think. Uh, the only thing is the uh, button switch is on the opposite side to the handle. So if you're holding it like that, just make sure you're on the right sort of setting. Um, and then if you wanted to change, you sort of got to take your hand off and change it like that, but not a big deal really. But yeah, fantastic light from Lumentop. I'm excited to sort of see some other lights they're going to come out with. Got a couple in the pipeline, so um, they do have some really interesting lights. If you want to check out this one, I will drop a link below to the Lumentop Tiger where you can check out all the specs, all the information on it. Worth a look at the whole Lumentop range. If you like the content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Keep yourself up to date because we do have new content coming out all the time. So yeah, thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.